it's Bonnie. Happy Sunday! I am back! I have a bonus video for you guys tonight. A lot of people are messaging me and asking if I would do a first impression on Great Christmas Morning in anticipation for tomorrow. So, I'm going to do Bright Christmas Morning. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so excited for Christmas. So um, I'm going to put a screenshot up first. So this was last year's debut of the Bright Christmas Morning. It was pretty. Um, really nice pink, white. It looked very uh, Christmassy. I know a lot of people liked it last year. So this year, um, it's part of this uh, Christmas storybook collection. It is kind of um, like an orange this year, and it's in the collection so far with the Jolly Gingerbread Village, Frosted Coconut Snowball. I don't know what else is coming in that collection. So I do like the packaging. It kind of reminds me of um, like Land of Sweets a little bit. It just looks cute with the villages down here. The only thing I wish is I almost think they should have done the writing in white because it's really hard to see with the gold. Also, um, these are only $16.95, so you will be able to use your app rewards on this collection in the mist and probably the cream, so that's good news. So, Bright Christmas Morning is Ripe Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple, which almost feels like it could be a Thanksgiving scent, and it kind of is. So basically what Bright Christmas Morning is, is um, a fruity punch scent. It's bright, it's happy, but it's also got a very um, like deep scent to it, which throws a lot of people off. So if you like that blood orange, you're going to love it. That's the scent note that I think is most dominant. On the dry down, um, you get a little bit of that apple note and um, kind of like a fruity berry, but it's a total fruit scent. I mean, berries, blood orange, and apple. I mean, there, there's a lot of fruit going on here, but it's not like a cotton candy scent. It's not sugary. Um, there's a little bit of sugar in there, but that's like not the dominant note. Um, it's got like more of a deep, robust uh, punch note. So if you like Holiday Punch, that's what I kind of said last year about this one. If you like Holiday Punch with like a heavy blood orange note, um, you're pretty much going to like this one. Um, it does get lighter on the dry down, I noticed. I'd forgotten what this was last year. It's not as intense, um, but it smells fruity. I mean, it's just like this fruity. Oops, I'm dropping. <laughs> I, I just waved my hand and I just happened to knock over my raspberry jam donut, which I forgot to talk about yesterday um, in my Christmas uh, sense. I wanted raspberry jam donut to come back this year for Christmas. That one, that one is good, um, which reminds me to say that there is no bakery at all, obviously, in Bright Christmas Morning. I'm not really sure why they call it Bright Christmas Morning, too. It's kind of a um, an odd name. I would have called it Bright Christmas Punch. That's what I would have called it because that's what it smells like. It smells like Fruity Punch. <laughs> so um, a little bit confusing there. But um, if you like fruit, if you like blood orange, this is going to be a good scent for you. Um, I have used it in the shower gel. This is what the shower gel looks like. Um, I'm kind of neutral on the shower gel. Oddly enough, it smells more sugary in the shower gel. It almost smells um, like fruit candy in the shower gel, where in the mist, you get more of like this deep punch note, which is kind of odd. It's funny, lately especially, I've noticed that the shower gels um, just smell a lot different than like the mist. So sometimes you might like one product and not the other. That kind of happens. There's some sense that the, um, uh, Set is like stable across all four products. Uh, like Blood Cherry Merlot to me smells the same across all the products. Same with Champagne Toast, Strawberry Pound Cake. Um, but there's other scents like this one where I feel like the shower gel, yeah, you don't get that really weird. It's, you know, I don't even know how to explain what I'm getting in the mist. To me, it almost smells like. You guys are going to laugh. Oh, my gosh. So um, it kind of smells like a barn. 
I don't know if it's that Apple note. Seriously. So I get a little bit of like this fruity, like slightly hay barn note in the mist. Whereas in the shower gel, I actually get like straight on fruity candy. Um, the shower gel to me is like way better than the mist. So there's some layers going on here. So if you've never tried Bright Christmas Morning, um, remember to try all the different um, uh, varieties because you might notice like some discrepancy. There's definitely a barn note in this one. That's what I'm picking up. Interesting, but it's not a barn note that I like as much as some like sense. Oh boy. Oh, I do like it in the shower gel this year though. I'm going to go use this. I've used this before. Like, I mean, I've used it a lot last year, but I think I'm going to use this tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. First impression on Bright Christmas Morning. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.